Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I just got back from shopping at Walmart and I thought it's a good day to make sure that I have the things that I need. I went to the store with a list to make sure that I could top off my prepper pantry. I looked around the store, the shelves all seemed to be full, but then I started looking for the things on my list and guess what? Some of them were just absolutely not available. I could not even find more than about 10 cans of tomatoes in the store. They had none of the little prepackaged muffin mixes where you just add water and I didn't see them the last time I went to the store either. There's not even a gap in the shelf where those products should be. As far as pasta noodles, they probably had 30 boxes and that was it. The spaghetti sauce was very thin and it was just alarming to me when I looked at the soup aisle because the chunky soups, there were about five varieties and they were like chicken noodle and vegetable and that was it that was it we don't have the choices anymore we don't have the supplies of basic foods that we may want to stock up on and maybe those aren't products that you're looking for but those are just basic foods that i'm looking for and so i remembered to tell myself that prepping is a gift i give to future me so I decided I'm going to stock up on the things that I can find and I want to make sure that I have enough. I had this sense of urgency and I don't want to panic, but I want to make sure that I have topped off while I still can. If you don't have a bountiful pantry now, you need to get going on that and stock up. The supplies are limited and the prices are skyrocketing. If you wait even a week or two, you may find that none of the foods you want are available and that none of it is something you can afford anyway. Don't be fooled by the store looking full. Actually look what's on the shelf. Look for things you would normally buy that maybe you've already topped them off and you aren't looking for them. And you may find that, that you will be surprised also. I'm like a lot of you that I'm running out of room places to store things so right now I'm stacking them in the garage. It's not a long term solution because garages even though mine is heated because I live in an arctic climate it doesn't stay the right temperature. It's not cool, dark, dry and a constant temperature with the doors opening and closing, summer, winter and so it's a temporary place that I can stack things because I have to figure out where I'm going to put them. My task for today was to gather and then I'll figure out how to organize a little bit later. But you want to make sure that you have the things you need, even if you have to shove them under the bed, stack them in the corner, cover them with a blanket. Make sure that you're stockpiling it to the rafters. Get what you can. I can't even express to you the sinking sensation I felt when I looked in the store and I realized this could be the last chance. It just could be. We keep saying, oh, it's going to blow over. Things are going to smooth out, but they don't seem to be. And so listen to the still small voice in your heart, the little, the little messages your brain is sending to you. That's how I look at it, that my brain and my heart are telling me stock up now. And so that's what I did. I bought some sliced potatoes and they only had six cans in the store. I was looking for the shelf stable milk. Little tiny cartons of it were three dollars and something cents. So I bought two cans of evaporated milk because they were only about one dollar. I've been using Great Northern Beans in a few recipes. They only had eight cans. That's it. I was able to get a 12 pack of cream corn kernel corn, green beans, and chili, but the chili prices have gone crazy. Chili was $2 a can. It used to be 98 cents, 99 cents. Now it's $2 for a simple can of chili. So I bought 12 cans of those and they're the thick chili. So I thought, well, at least it'll be more special even if I had to pay extra. I'll move my camera so you can see more of what I got in my stockpile. They had some Spam, but they also had the luncheon loaf and they had it bacon flavored, light, and less sodium. And so I bought two each of those. And I haven't tried the Libby's luncheon loaf, but these were so much less expensive than Spam, I decided to try it. Yesterday, I made a can of treat meat and my family actually liked it. I don't care for Spam or any of these, but 
people in my family do, so I stockpile it and I serve it to them. I bought 12 of the Rosarita refried beans. I like these. This was the only variety they had, and they only had about six more cans than what I bought. And you have to look them over. I found a whole bunch of them were dented down here on the bottom, and so watch what you're getting in the store. I found four packs of Chunk Light tuna in water, so I bought two of those. I bought two cans of chicken of the sea salmon. Salmon fishing season is still a ways off. You want to make sure you have the things. Plus, when you can go fishing, it doesn't mean you'll be catching. So make sure you have variety in your meat stockpile. I was surprised to see how much chicken they had because I think chicken is one of the foods I keep thinking is going to disappear. And they had the four packs for 10 something and I bought five of them. And they also had two packs and singles, but this was the least expensive. I've never been a fan of beef stew, but since I couldn't find a lot of the foods that I normally would stockpile, like sausage gravy, they didn't have anything like that. So I went ahead and bought one to try it again. I haven't had it in many years, and maybe on a very cold, cold, dark night, maybe this will taste good. If you see a food you think you might like, just buy one and try it. If you like it, you can go back and get more. Then you don't end up with a stockpile of food that no one wants to eat. The Hereford roast beef is good, and these were in stock. They were still at a reasonable price, and so I bought six cans of that. I bought two cans of chicken gravy. I was able to locate two cans of the mild diced tomatoes with green chilies. This is like Rotel, but it's less expensive. I bought two boxes of the Zatarain's Jambalaya. That was about all they had in the store. They just seemed to have a big, huge shortage of things like rice and the little pasta mixes. I found two packages of the Nora Teriyaki noodles. This is really great with the teriyaki spam, but it's good with the other foods as well. This is the only Nora pasta side that I found. They had a few of the rice. I saw absolutely none of the pasta roni. They did have a few of the rice aroni. The Hormel completes are nice. You just zap them for a minute and have them. And I actually like the chicken breast and mashed potatoes. I've been rotating through these from my DIY MREs. I want to have some fresh ones going forward. And so I was glad to see they had a variety that I liked. Some of them are not very tasty. Try them if you see the Hormel completes because they're really pretty good if you find some varieties that you care to eat. I got a package of chicken bouillon and beef bouillon. Those are great. If you want to just make rice or beans, you can add some bouillon. Then you don't have to have big containers of broth in your pantry. And something I hadn't seen in years was some of the Campbell's cheese soups. I remember these from maybe in the 1980s. I don't think I've seen them since, so I bought one of each to try it. There's a cheddar cheese that's healthy request a Fiesta nacho cheese, and a cheddar cheese. So I'm sure there must be some reason they're making these now. If you have a recipe that you make with some of these cheese soups, leave it in the comments below so that I can try these out. And if other people see these soups, maybe they'll want to try them out as well and see if uh, it's something you want to stockpile in your prepper pantry when you can't get the cheese that you want. I bought a cream of celery. I haven't seen it in a long time, and I have a recipe I wanted to make with cream of celery. And now I'm hoping I can find the recipe before this can goes expired in a couple years. Oil is in shorter supply, and the prices are going up because of some of the events that are happening in the world. So I bought an extra bottle of canola oil. That's the one we like. This was the only bag of buttermilk pancake mix in a huge Walmart store. So you can bet I bought that. And then I bought a bottle of the butter flavored syrup to go with it. This was nearly $3.50, which I thought was a huge increase for just uh, artificial syrup. Let me know what the price is on syrups where you are, because I thought that was ridiculous, but I bought one. They had almost no pasta, so to me it was last call. I bought two boxes of the penne. I bought three packages of the Idahoan baby red mashed potatoes because that is all they had. I would have gotten about 20 of them if they had more, but that was it. I bought a pizza crust mix because you can even make just cook this as bread. They only had three of these in the store. You should have dozens of them to choose from, but they only had three, so I bought one. 
Beans and rice are good. I bought uh, two packages of split peas. It's always a good idea to stock up on beans and rice if you can. So I bought eight pounds of pintos, five pounds of rice, and it was interesting because the some of the prices on the shelf were missing. Many of the items, there was not a price on how much they are. They had more labels than they did when I went, oh, say, a week ago. So it, you can't really tell for sure how much everything costs because the prices aren't there. They did have more of the labels than they had the last time I shopped, but it was still a guessing game and you have to pay attention when you're checking out so you know what you're paying for things. My Walmart carries a small variety of the Augustine Farms number 10 cans of long-term food storage. So I just told myself I'm going to buy one even though they're getting more expensive. And I tried to look them over and find something that I didn't already have. I don't think I already have a can of the butter. This has 204 servings and a 10 year shelf life. And probably it'll last longer. The number 10 cans are a good way to have dehydrated and dried foods. They're already packaged to last for a very long time and some of them are foods that you wouldn't normally be able to dry or package for yourself. You want to make sure that your food is packaged correctly and that it's going to last and I have big faith in Augustine Farms. All of their products that I've used have been good. Once you open it though you have to use it up within about a year but uh, that's still a long time to have butter if you can't get it or you can't afford it anymore. I think we're on the precipice of a food crisis and I don't know what people are going to do if they're not stocking up. I want to make sure that I have what I need to take care of myself and my family. And guess what? If food continues to be available, that's great. I have plenty of food to eat. Don't buy foods you don't normally eat. Rotate your foods. Try making recipes with them. Serve regular meals out of your prepper pantry. That's the whole point of your buying foods that you would normally eat and you're rotating them. No, it's not the freshest option every single day, but guess what? You don't have to eat this every day, but it's certainly a fun way to have quick and easy meals. If you're in a hurry, you can take them camping. You can put them aside for your bug out bag. And if you have food and it's nearing its expiration date and you don't want to eat it, donate it to the food banks because they are in dire straits as well. They're not getting the donations they need and more and more people are going to the food pantries all the time. So we need to be aware of what are the resources that we have and how do we make the most of those to keep our family safe and fed going forward. Like I said, prepping is a gift to future me. I know I'll have enough to eat, I'll be able to take care of my family, and I won't have the worry of the dire straits that have come upon us because I didn't prepare. That to me is comforting that I can make the best of every single day that I have. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.